Okay, welcome to Comfy Happy Number 2. Welcome to TikTok. I have been having major malfunctions on Instagram. I don't know why I'm having a major malfunction on Instagram, so I'm going to do this here on TikTok. So, I'm having to start all over, taking a key from Instagram. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do a martial art weapons demonstration, and I'm going to do some lightsaber stuff. I'm going to do lightsaber stuff first. It's just going to be one continuous video from here to the end. I'm going to stop doing the lightsaber. I'm going to do the martial arts demonstration because that's going to, I got the most stuff for that. So I'm going to do the lightsaber, one lightsaber, then two lightsabers. And then I'm going to freaking um, do the martial arts demonstration. Now, I have no idea what's going on on TikTok. So for those here that have found me from, I mean not TikTok, from Instagram. For those who have found me from Instagram, um, I'm here, JW Gray Wolf 616. I will answer questions after. We can do a question and answer after. So if I don't react with y'all, I'm sorry. I'm going to be a little busy swinging weapons around. For those on YouTube, this is just going to be one long ass video. So you guys on TikTok and Instagram can go to Kung Fu Africa number two and watch what you missed. You can watch the first two videos that I attempted to do on Instagram there because Instagram somehow have control over the camera that I have on my cell phone. That shit went off. I got pissed. Here I am. So we're going to do the one saber first, then the two sabers, maybe pass a little gas, show off my skinny ass, and then we're going to do the martial arts demonstration. All right. That's going to solve most of the problems. And then after that, we can do a question and answer if I don't knock myself out and am I conscious. All right. So, let's start with this one saber. Um, I cannot invite you, and even if I do invite you, I don't even know what's going to happen there. But I will not be able to respond. But I am going to hit that invite button. Feel free to talk to people here. You know, I won't be able to read anything. I won't be able to do anything because I'll be willing this thing. So, you are invited, whoever you are. I don't know what that is. It just says invite. Um... I don't know who I should invite. I don't see a martial artist in there. Okay, I'm just going to put this down. <coughs> I think I swallowed a bug. Oh, fuck. <coughs> I hope somebody caught that. I hope this caught that. Okay, so let's begin, shall we? So we're going to start with working it around. Do better. It's good. I'll find that in the morning. I'm going to tell you guys something funny. My shadow on this, on this umbrella just scared the living shit out of me. I don't scare easy. One down. <laughs> Ooh, forgot that was right there. Ah, forgot it was there again. No, actually, these things are exceptionally long. What happens when you're not in practice, guys? I am Goldtar, and this is the Golden Lance.
get tired of wearing these things around. And I think I swallowed the bug in case y'all missed that. Okay, 10.30. Making decent time. All right. Hope you guys can see the commas. Drop one. Now you see why you don't whirl them in fights. been a real one I probably would cut the bitch in half I literally slipped out my head there are some nights where you just won't feel it not one of those nights. That didn't work out the way it was supposed to. It was supposed to come through like this and go over and then here. <laughs> totally screwed up. Okay, finally, bell finding. I have to keep checking the time. 1042. Okay, I may be going to the hospital. That is my way of keeping myself um, on guard. Now, the good news about the gloves is they prevent that um, buckle hitting my wrist. So as you're going to learn now, when your hands are behind you, engaging is a bad idea. So you want to have your escape plans. Remember these kicks. Outside to instant crescent kick leads to escape. Boom. Ship your ass. Go that way. Oh, one of my lights is gone. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I can't bend down to fix it right now. Inside to outside crescent kick, shift your weight and escape. But this kick generally means you're going to engage. Because he's only going that far. At least with this one, your momentum's going to carry him that way. You're going to go this way. Also, blocking is not impossible, just highly unlikely that it will be successful. Okay? Trying to get all this done as fast as possible. So now we go to the front. 
Now I can play. Now, the reason why I can do it that way and make the rope shorter is so I can do more, all right? So that you understand this, as a training tool, my first thing is to tell you this. Please do not attempt this shit at home, whether you've had martial arts training or not. Someone could seriously get injured, especially if you have an overzealous spy, spying partner who doesn't really give a fuck about your safety, all right? I will do a weapons demonstration with my hands tied. It will not be a fucking pleasurable. So remember your blocks, high, medium, medium with knee, low, high, medium, medium with knee, low. Now, it's easy to fight this way because you can use your hands for blocking versus behind your back where you can use your hands for blocking, but your success rate is very slim. So guy comes, boom. Knee, boom, knee, elbow. I left that off on the other side. Good throw. Don't fuck up my video. <laughs> and guys coming, boom, knee, elbow. Those are some of your options. These are not your options. Just because you can see me do it doesn't mean that you should do it. Again, that's because you see me do it. Doesn't mean you should do it. In fact, those last two kicks that I did would probably get your ass kicked because you're leaving the ground. Leaving the ground in a fight by your own accord is not the best idea that you can have in a fight. You wanna keep that shit simple. Block, strike, block, strike, block, strike, strike, block, block, strike, block, strike. Strike, went off frame, so sorry. Block, strike, or block, block. If you know Kempo, you know that the, both of those blocks are technically a strike. So block, strike, these resets. Block, strike, 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 block, strike. Boom, boom, boom. My hands are tied, so my balance is gonna be off. That's out of the 10, your balance is gonna be off i.e. do not try this at home. So again, those same kicks for escape, you can use with your hands tied in front of you. This is specifically for people who are not strong fighters, physically. You'll always be a strong fighter mentally, but sometimes the physicality doesn't work out the way you think it will. And as I say in many of my videos for Kung Fu Africa number two, as well as for TikTok, as well as for Instagram, there are 1,001 things can go wrong before one thing goes right. So, you're not a good fighter, you wanna remember this sequence so that you can get out of dodge. Block, kick, crossing kick, now I'm going to escape. Why did I use that? Because sometimes the guy's not running at you, he's just standing straight. So if he's standing straight, boom, there's your kick, you've reset, now he comes at you again, boom. Now you can get the hell out of dodge because you've landed in a position to run. If you don't want to run, and he stops where you were here, then you would elbow him. Then you would do that. You would also try to use this rope as your weapon to catch him in the throat. A person who cannot breathe cannot bring bodily harm to you. Yes, you can incorporate elbows and knees. Block, elbow, block, elbow, block, knee, block, knee. Everybody who does martial arts, I don't care if you're a beginner, I don't care if you're a novice, I don't care if you're a professional. We all love knees, elbows, and forearms. In fact, we come up with new ways to engage with our knees, elbows, and forearms. Did you miss the problem about my hands being tied? So, you may block and get a short elbow in, but that also puts you in the position of getting fucked up. So if you wanna block, get to the outside, and throw a knee, and then an elbow, you're in better shape than if you want to block and throw an elbow. However, 
as I told my nephew this afternoon, fights change in battle. So you may only be able to get that short elbow. So you may need to do that, which means block, boom, or block, boom, depending on what style you are using or where his body positioning is. If his body position is where his arm is way over here and you've blocked and elbowed him, you're probably gonna go low to a rip. So it will look boom and then down there. Now, if he's shorter than you and you block and you go there, there there's a facial shot. However, I would suggest this. When you block an elbow, you want to elbow him and then you want to turn your ass this way and you want to run like hell, all right? Because it's gonna be a lot easier for you to escape with your hands tied in front of you than with your hands tied in back of you. It's also gonna be a lot easier to engage with your hands tied in front of you than your hands in back of you. But you gotta take into consideration that you might not know how to fight. So in teaching you this, because you might not know how to fight, you'll need to know how to escape, all right? And learning how to escape is the most important thing. Because again, not everybody is as bad as they claim to be, and not everybody who is not as bad as they claim to be aren't as um, not functional in a fight as they pretend they are not. A lot of people will tell you, I can't fight worth shit. That'll be that same person that unexpectedly throws you the beating from hell. So when people tell you they can't fight, don't always believe that. It's the same thing when people tell you that they can fight. Don't always believe that. But as I may quote Rob from McDojo Life, um, any given Sunday. And the best fighter, as my neighbor has always told me, the best fighter doesn't always win the fight. Now, the best prepared warrior has a better chance of winning the war or the fight than just a little scrimmage. You know, now, sometimes you got to lose to win. All right? Don't take that too literal. But let's say all you have is the ability to use elbows and knees because you don't have a lot of range of motion. This stops a full extended with one hand, but it does have two. You do not want to clasp your hands this way and do this or this as hard as you can because your hands are the easiest bones to break in the human body. Try to remember that. Your metacarpals are very sensitive. Now for those people going around punching cement and building up calluses and making their hands hard, good for you. That does not mean your hand cannot be broken. It just means you're a little bit um, tougher on the pain tolerance. But it also doesn't mean that your ass can't get kicked. Because I like to tell people, the harder you throw a punch, the more damage you can do to yourself. Especially if you're hitting someone who actually can take a hit, get back up, and beat your ass. Those are things you need to be aware about. So let's say that I can't kick this high. Alright? And my hands are tied. So from this angle and this angle alone, it'll be easier for you to see. Let me step back. Let me step back. So this is a low angle gung fu kick. So there, if that's as high as I can kick, I got to be able to work with that. Which also means this is as high as my knee is going to go. So if I'm going to kick your shin, boom, boom, I'm going to bring my knee straight up. Because I'm going to do gung fu versus karate, where if I kick here and then bring my knee up. Because this opposite knee is going to be the power, and you're falling forward, so I'm going to bring my knee into you. Now, let's say that you, on this side, block the knee. Now I got problems. So you have to understand, I have problems. You block my knee. So my body needs to be protected. And my hands are tied. So I got to block with an elbow, block with an elbow. If you have not taken kickboxing, that probably does not look familiar to you. If you have not taken um, certain karates or kung fu's, that does not look familiar to you. And you have to get used to unfamiliar territory when you are in an actual fight. So for those who took tie fighting, you know the drill, you know, boom, boom, and if you don't know, you're about to learn it. Well, my hands are tied, so that makes it a little bit difficult. So I gotta roll with it, but I gotta roll an elbow at the same time. Boom, boom. Now the reason why I'm doing that is because this is going to bring the torque and the protective force that I'm going to need to stop you from breaking one of my ribs. If you're throwing a round kick, and I gotta stop it, but I can't move out the way, then I need to absorb it. That is this, and I need to counter. That is this. But let's say I can't counter or absorb it, then I need to step back. So that if you miss and you keep going, then I can step in and deliver a short elbow. My hands are still tied. That's why I'm calling it a short elbow versus 
a longer over the range elbow. There are differences in these elbows. They might not look like that to you, but to a trained martial artist, y'all know exactly what I'm saying. All right? And how many people have been trained with their hands tied? I've been doing this since I was like 12, maybe younger. And the thing about that is you have to understand that everybody teaches differently. Everybody learns differently. You have to use what works for you, not what works for someone else. Number thing about fighting anybody is to get them to fight your fight versus you trying to fight their fight. If I'm in a ring with a boxer, I'm going to get my ass kicked because I'm not a boxer. If the boxer and I are in the streets, this is my playground. Everything about this street is mine. I own it. I'm going to be a devastating little bastard. All right, so I got to do a weapons demonstration before I end this. So um, we can do questions and answers after I get the dog because it is 1056 if my clock is right. So weapons demonstration with my hands bound. All right, so we're going to use the wooden comma. So block and strike at the same time or block, rotate the blade, strike. I understand how that works. Block and then strike because this simulates the blade. So I'm blocking. I can block with the butt with the blade still there, which makes it a lot easier. Boom, and then strike, or I can block with the blade that way, blocking their strike, and then turning the blade as I strike. All right, that's one way of doing that. But nine times out of 10, you're probably not gonna have time, so you're just gonna keep it this way. Boom, 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 boom. Now, let me slow that down for you. And YouTube probably didn't see it. So, I'm blocking with the blade, boom, and I'm slicing. I'm blocking, and I'm slicing. All right, I'm not doing this because my hands are tied and I'm going to probably lose my weapon. Boom, 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 okay? Boom, boom, boom. So, you know, you'll have to figure out what you're going to do when you do it because when somebody's bringing pain or a weapon at you, you're pretty much at their mercy if your hands are tied. But if you also have a weapon, you have a fighting chance. Block, strike, block, strike, block strike. Now you're not going to do this. Block, whip it, and then strike it. No, that's not going to happen. You live in reality. You do not live in a comic book world. So you're going to have to block and strike. Strike. There. Now if you see my hands, which YouTube didn't see, so we have to do it again. So block, strike, strike. Boom. I have to use my hands together because they're tied. They have to become a team. All right. Now I gotta do some difficult shit with this chain. This is the part where I might get fucked up. Because having your hands bound and fighting with long range weapons, not impossible, just highly, your success rate is very, very, very bad. Okay? So it's a high chance that everything you see me do, I gotta get fucked up. So don't do that, okay? And see how I can barely maneuver. Now I can barely do this. With my hands are tied. Just so did you know, it can be done. Will it be done with pinpoint accuracy? Probably not. Let's see, I have range. If I just keep doing this, no one's coming in. Now, the reason why I did that, again, my hands are tied. So being able to work this chain is going to be a significant problem of striking. Now, hopefully y'all can see that. And see how I got caught? Or did I? You got to be able to control this damn thing. If your hand's tied, it's not impossible. It's just that your success rate, it varies. No, we cannot do dual. But my hands are tied. So here, here, you can still sword fight. Block, block, 
Block, block, strike, strike, strike. Block, block, strike. Block, block, strike, strike. Probably shouldn't do this. Because your hands are tied. Again. Also, in real fights, you're not going to get the chance to do much more than this, this, strike, this, this, strike, this, this, strike. Now, somebody will be blocking, bing, 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 and they're going to be blocking from here and here. So that would be here and there. Yeah, they're going to be blocking. They're not going to let you cut them up. And if your hands are tied, the first thing you should do, especially if it's a lightsaber, is slide up this bitch and cut your goddamn ropes. But since this is not a real life to God lightsaber, and your hands are tied by themselves, you have to learn how to defend yourself with your hands tied or chain. The chain only has so much give, as you can see. There's only so much spaces between my hands. So I have to learn how to work with that. So here and here, I'm not going to do this fancy, smancy shit, this shit here. Not gonna get a lot of that going. Yeah, because my hands are tied. I'm limited, very limited. I wanna survive, strike, strike. Or block, block, rather. Block, block, strike. Block, block, strike, strike. Now, I'm better off attacking with my hands tied than I am defending. Because I don't want to give this guy the chance to eat my ass alive while my hands are tied. Understand how that works? My hands are tied. Just for the sake of argument. I need to make sure that my weapons are able to swing at both directions. See how I got tied up in the mix there? Got caught? Yeah, you don't want to do that. So you want to keep them at one position or another. So if you're going to slice or slice, this is the safer way than trying to do it this way. Slice, slice. There's a good chance that you might fuck yourself up. But if you have both of them pretty much free and in the same direction, block, block, slice, slice. Now, a lot of people aren't going to agree with that, and that's fine. But I'm only going to tell you what I know is going to work for me. So if I'm blocking, like I block, someone's coming down. So I block, and now I can come back, and I can come back. This X protection is for someone coming down the middle. So, boom, and now I can double slice. Now I know what you're thinking, why did I double slice? Let me explain that. I blocked, and then I pushed, and I double sliced because it was a lot easier to do this versus this, all right? Now that's just for me. If you can do this, and not have that happen, you're better than I am, which you probably are. I am not that great. We have lightsabers or swords. I prefer wooden weapons. So I'm going to block and I can strike and I can strike again versus I'm going to block, slice. Well, that's the same thing. Block and then cut this way. It's a good chance I might not get the chance to do that. But at least with this cross block, that thing's coming this way. If it goes here, I can block it. If it goes here, I can block it. So it's basically like I made a clock. All right, that's nine o'clock. That's three o'clock, okay? I can drop it to 12 and six. You know, because 12 and six are one and the same. Technically, this would be midnight. But at that same time, if I'm here, I can block it from both sides. But I don't recommend that because I suck at lightsabers. So I'm going to do what works for me. I'm going to block and I'm going to ninja slice this way. Or I'm going to block and I'm going to ninja slice this way. Why am I doing it that way? Because it was working better for me. Okay. So let me end the YouTube. And let me go take these dogs to the bathroom while I put weapons up. And um, I'll come back 
and do a question and answer 